Hello friends and welcome to another video. In today's video we are going after the Hyacinth Macaw. As you may have guessed from the thumbnail for this video, I actually do not have this battle pet. So let's see if we can gather it together. Let me show you where we're going. To get started you want to be in the Eastern Kingdoms and we're going to head down here to the bottom of the map. We want to either go to Northern Stranglehorn or the Cape of Stranglehorn. The Macaw has a chance to drop in both of these locations because that's right, you guessed it. It's a world drop for this area. Yay! So what are we looking at? We're looking at about a 0.2% drop rate. <sighs> Another farming one. So because this is a world drop for these two areas, I went into this video trying to find the best location where you could farm it, where everything's not so spread out, where the creatures that you kill spawn back faster. And I have three locations that I think are pretty good for trying to farm for this battle pet. Let me show you. The first location I found pretty easy to farm was right here in Northern Stranglehorn, the Runes of Zulconda. These trolls are kind of a little bit spread out, however they are part of a quest, so they do spawn back pretty quickly. So another location that I found with a pretty good spawn timer for uh, the NPCs to come back after you kill them was at the Cape of Stranglehorn all the way down at the bottom. Uh, there are three pirate ships. If you hop from ship to ship, you should be able to go back to the first ship and most of the NPCs will have respawned. So this is another option. So the third area that I ended up going into was still in Northern Stranglehorn and I went to this purpley area on the map. Now here you will end up finding some murlocs. If you just run around in a giant circle around the kind of the edge area of this purpley area, by the time you get back to the start, the murlocs will have respawned. So out of my three areas, this is kind of where I found myself sitting at the most. Well, not sitting, obviously running around because I'm trying to get this battle pet, but this is kind of where I was at. Although, of course, while making this video, RNG does not like me, so I was not able to get this pet to drop. So as always, let's boogie and scoot over to the auction house. So here we are at the auction house, and I know with a pet with an extremely low drop rate, I'm hoping it's cheap so I can just buy it, but we all know it's not going to be cheap. To be honest, I wasn't expecting it to be in this range, but you know, I thought maybe it might be a little bit more expensive. I always hope for cheap. But as you can see, there is a parrot in the cage. That is actually the item that'll physically drop that'll allow you to learn this macaw, or people are just selling this macaw. There's no harm in hoping that it'll be cheap, so I can not have to grind for this. But I guess I'm adding this to the list of pet battle pets that I'm gonna have to grind for. <sighs> Well, I hope that you have way better luck than me and this Hastenth Macaw drops for you. But if you want to buy it, just remember it's your gold you do with it as you will. I'm just here to show you where it's at. Well, hopefully you enjoy this video. If you did, please give it a like. And if you're new to the channel, why not hit that subscribe button? I look forward to seeing you in the next pet video. Have a good one.